So on November the 1st, the Intercollegiate Board for Basic Surgical Examination announced postponement of MRCS Part A, the January diet, to spring. That, that basically means respecting the exam anytime from April through June. A personal response from Royal College of Surgeons, Edinburgh, actually specified that oh, the earliest is April, the earliest. Uh, but that's about all the detail in the message. And um, the reason for the postponement, uh, I have a, a screenshot of the announcement from the uh, college, okay? And uh, it says that uh, it is being postponed in order to assess, to reassess the delivery method of the examination, okay? And by that, we're talking about the online delivery from um, September last year, 2020, the MRCS examination, the Part A, has been delivered online remotely, okay? And it has come with its advantages and disadvantages. Uh, one of the should I say, disadvantages mentioned by the college in the announcement is the increase in the production of question materials in public domain. Okay, uh, however, uh, I feel that uh, there are more reasons that might actually have been inferred here, not directly mentioned. For example, some people are not able to get their results because the, the uh, exemplify uh, malfunction, webcam problems, technical issues generally, and then people who studied hard wrote these exams are not able to get results. Either their, their results are cancelled or they are not able to complete their papers so they don't have the full um, exams completed to obtain a, a proper mark to pass so they fail as a result. So those are issues, worries that even prospective candidates face, you know. And um, I think uh, the Royal College is aware, the colleges are aware and they should be thinking about a way to solve the problem which the warrant why they say that they are postponing it in order to find a most effective way that they can implement for the delivery of the examination. And we are expecting that uh, by spring, they should have been able to put something together. Okay, so what could this mean for subsequent M uh, MRCS Part A exams? It could mean that um, they will be able to develop uh, better ways of administering the exam online still remotely still or it could also mean that uh, the exam will revert back to an offline exam okay i i personally uh, believe that it will likely come back to an offline exam for two reasons one is that uh, the colleges are already considering administering uh, the part b of the mrcs exam uh, internationally as before prior to COVID okay and what that would mean is that uh, uh, the part B is what requires uh, person to person contact okay if they can do that uh, despite COVID uh, the part A can actually be done with enough distance or whatever that needs to be put in place uh, the other part of it is that other colleges other bodies are doing exams offline physical exams like GMC for PLAB you know so uh, it can actually be worked out and it's going to take away some of the technicalities of this remote delivery, both uh, the disadvantage it poses to the test takers and the disadvantage it poses to the um, colleges, like the proliferation of exam, exam questions in public domain, as they say. Okay, uh, then what should you be doing if you were preparing for the MRCS Part A for January diet and uh, suddenly there is this big break. What should you be doing? It depends actually on what you were doing and how far you have gone before the announcement. Okay? So if you have gotten to a point where you feel ready or almost ready for the exam before the announcement, uh, then um, you might want to consider reading, for example, the things you wouldn't have read as you mean the time remains short for example test books and that, and that is i'm putting test book uh, uh, because 
not really the whole of the textbook I'm talking about, but there are some topics, some areas you might have found very challenging, but maybe glossing over that you have your fresh opportunity to go in depth. Textbooks or whichever material will give you the proper knowledge, the in depth knowledge you need. Another thing to consider is that even if your work is going to be in bits, your reading is going to be in bits going forward, it is important that you, by all means, by all means, maintain the consistency. Do something towards MRCS part A every day. Okay, if it is one question, 10 questions, uh, 50, 100, do something that will keep you in remembrance that this exam is coming. Spring is not that far. Six months away, okay? And solve more questions. Medicine has no curriculum, yes, but it will still be medical, surgical questions that will be asked. And uh, no matter how difficult the questions become, as people suggest, that the questions might be more strange, uh, uh, might be stranger, might be more difficult, okay? No matter what it becomes, it's going to come from the already existing knowledge of surgery, of medicine. And uh, the more questions you solve, the better you are at pattern recognition, okay? Uh, there, there are popular question banks, but it might be an opportunity to also explore uh, questions that are not particularly popular question bank. There are some textbooks, okay, that are just review books, question books uh, directed towards MRCS that I think might be worth reviewing in addition to the question banks you're doing, okay? And um, finally, for those who realize after registering this exam that they may not need it, okay, this is a golden opportunity for you to get a good refund by applying, cancelling the exam, and your reason will be the postponement, okay? So that's that for or the postponement of exam. If you want details on um, extra materials apart from popular question banks that you might want to delve into, I might be able to upload that in subsequent videos.